So recently I've been looking into using React Native. Uh, I think tools like React Native are pretty cool because from like, you know, one code base, you can kind of make apps for multiple platforms all at one time. Um, and because I only have experience with like mobile app development on Android and know nothing about it for iOS, uh, if I wanted to make an app that was cross platform, I had to do something and that led me to, well, React Native. So after about a week of looking at it, I decided that I was gonna move forward to make an app. But then the next question was, well, what kind of app would I make? So I wanted to make an app that would be popular, one that I thought a lot of people would download, but I also wanted to make something that was relatively simple because uh, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on the app, at least not before I know it's like popular. Um, so I decided on a stock ticker. Um, so a stock ticker is real simple. All it does is just you select like some stocks that you want and it just shows you their values as they change during the trading day. Uh, I thought it'd be really easy to do. I thought it'd be really quick to do. And I thought it'd be really clickbaity because of the whole GME to the moon uh, <laughs> like meme that's been going on uh, for the last like few months. I called it, I decided I was gonna call it Stonkwatch. I thought it was gonna be real simple and just um, do, just like basically display that sort of ticker information. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna hop over to my computer and I'm gonna show you all on the emulator uh, what it looks like so far and uh, yeah talk about it a little bit more. Now that we're over here at my computer, I can show you all what Stonkwatch looks like right now. Um, so I already loaded it up and launched it in my emulator. And so now I'm gonna show you all what it does. So what Stonkwatch does is it allows you to watch ticker information of your stocks go by. So you can see, you know, um, where it's at, like if it's gone up or if it's gone down um, for the current value based on the last value that it got. Uh, and it'll get updates throughout the day, um, throughout trading hours uh, for your particular stock. So. You know, if you've got something in most U.S. exchanges, that's going to be like 9 a.m. Eastern to 5 um, to 4.30 uh, Eastern. Um, but, you know, it can change depending on exchanges and there are after market hours and stuff like that. Um, but essentially, it allows you to see that ticker information when it's updated. Um, so you'll come into the app and you can add a stock two ways. You can either... Um, you can either press and hold, uh, well, tap and hold on a phone. You can either tap and hold stocks and it'll pull up the little search bar for you to search for stocks, or you can hit the little plus button up here. Um, then you'll just search for a stock. So I'm going to search for like GME, right? Um, and it will look for all the stocks and here we go. GME is the stock symbol I want. So I'll just click it. And you can select as many of them as you want. If you don't want any more, you can just click out of here or you can hit the back button on your phone and it'll take you back out. But now we can see this live ticker update. Um, so currently, so the current value of GME is 194. And uh, apparently there hasn't been any real change uh, in the last few minutes. We'll go ahead and, oh, you can see it now. So we're getting some updates as they come through. So the value went up, it went down a little bit went up a little bit you know we'll see we'll see that but overall it shows you the overall percentage uh, for today like how, how how it's doing today uh, and we'll go ahead and we'll add another one so let's add like Neo um, yep and it's not as it's slow in the emulator it's not as slow in the actual phone it's pretty fast um, but we'll add Neo and so oh Neo's down as well let's add something else let's add like Apple um, Apple stock uh, and let's add, uh, let's add one more. Let's add Google, um, because Google stock is probably doing pretty well today. Um, so you'll see those X's when it first loads, but once it gets an update, it will change those. Um, that just means that it hasn't gotten any updates yet. And okay, so Google, but yeah, and so we can see all this. And then there's a second tab, um, and that is news related to the stocks that you have, uh, selected in your ticker. Um, so... So you'll get two things, you'll get the title, you'll get the source, and you'll get a little um, blip here that tells you which um, which stocks are involved in that particular article. Um, some articles are not related to a specific stock, so if those appear, it'll appear blank here. Um, and I might change that in the future, but, but that's what it looks like. But you always get the source, and um, and yeah, you get the ticker information. Like see, so for this one, it shows you what's involved and Apple is one of the stocks involved. So that's why it appeared in my feed. Um, and yeah, and some of the articles, not all of them have a link to them. Um, these articles come directly uh, from, um, all of these articles come directly from Yahoo Finance's um, news API. Um, so, 
sometimes it just doesn't have a link so if it doesn't have a link i can't include it but if it does have a link you can click um explore will appear you can click on explore and it'll open in your web browser of choice and it'll take you directly to that article uh, so like this is the article we just saw the bitcoin kaboom about 430 percent right um but yeah so that's pretty much what the app does it's real simple um it's in uh alpha testing right now so hopefully by the time this video gets released um i'll have the app to a good you know beta stage or whatever and be able to roll it out on the play store um but i've never rolled out anything on the play store so i'm interested to see what that's going to be like um but if you guys um I want to stay up to date on it uh, follow my instagram or my twitter i'll be releasing updates there and then also just more videos about it will probably come in the future uh, for this channel so if you like this video please hit that like button if you love this video please hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more awesome content about just computer science stuff and things keyboards and everything that interests me all right so i'll see you guys next time bye